Big Murray Cod don't come easy. I can't think of another fish that I put as much energy into for just a single opportunity of a big bite. But that's cod fishing. Join me over the next five days as I'll be searching along our longest river for our largest freshwater fish, the mighty Murray Cod. He's gone. G'day everybody and welcome to another Full Scale Fishing Adventures episode. Special trip this one, we're just about to embark on a five, six day mission down the magnificent Murray River. The boat is fully loaded. We have got everything. Heaps of lures, heaps of batteries, heaps of food, a swag, something to cook some stuff with. And um, yeah, we're just going. So we've got five, and a half, I think it's five and a half days on the river. I'm gonna try and catch a big cod on surface, but as with all cod fishing, you just need to go through the process and what will happen will happen. So let's push this boat off and get drifting. got one of the amazing new cocky coloured tremors um, all I've done straight out of the packet but I do like the two split rings I put two split rings on there uni knot straight under the clip I'm fishing a hundred pound platypus hard armor um, supple leader eight foot Komodo combo which is perfect for launching big baits and then also 50 pound platypus bionic braid and that is the first cast of many. Let's hope it gets demolished. I reckon that cocky colour is going to get absolutely blown to pieces. It's going to take a little while to get into the groove of things, I think. I'll lock that drag up. Quite happy to start slow and work, work, work my way into it. It's just the all time evening, big storm down south at the moment, so we've just got the edge of it up here. And we're just gonna drift and cast and drift and cast. I've just had my Minn Kota serviced by Min Repairs and it is absolutely beautiful. Super quiet, super smooth. It's something I rely on so much as my electric motor so it's nice to know that it is in primo condition for this. And this is exactly why I got Jimmy to make this colour. Because all the cockies are down by the water having a drink. Cods have got to be looking at them. That was massive. That was massive. 
Holy cow, that was massive. Wowzers. Oh. Did that just explode on that? Didn't even feel anything. Mustn't have had it. Oh man, that sucks. Holy moly. Put a fair few casts in that spot and did not want to come back. <sighs> Sucks. But I don't think it, it didn't even feel like it hit the lure. Looked really big though. been a while since I've had a campfire so it is good to be back on the river um, yeah it's it's nice that I got a bite it's sad that I missed it but I do really like that I know that they're gonna bite in the afternoon which is good I know that they're actually biting um, so if we can get a bite in the morning I reckon the next few days should be really really cool so enjoy the campfire enjoy the beautiful evening on the river but there's about 50 million bugs tonight but um other than that, life's good on the river. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Gets the water just right. Well, good morning everybody. It's a bit of a windy, sort of overcast morning, but we'll just see what happens. It's funny, I've got the mindset of this trip that I'm just going to fish, and I know that seems kind of simple, but I'm not gonna get hung up on snags, not gonna get hung up on the weather. I'm just gonna cast where I can cast, where it's easy, just go through the motions. Um, it's exactly what I did last night, and I got an opportunity. I'm going to do it today. I'm going to try and not lose confidence at any point and just keep on fishing, drifting down the river, doing all the right things and I'm sure one will come out and smash it. So when it gets light enough, um, we'll get out and we'll start casting. Happy birthday.
had one boil under it. <laughs> I don't know how big that was, but it definitely had a look. Come back. Got him. Oh. <laughs> Little one. That was cool. <laughs> I saw saw him boil under it. He's obviously angry. Oof. Little dog. Nice to get bites in the morning and in the evening. Just looked like the perfect spot in front of that willow. Didn't actually feel like it hit the lure though. It might come back. <sighs> nice to be getting bites. Got none from three. Awesome. That's surface luring for you. Oh, that was a bigger one. How did that not hook up? In the perfect spot too. Oh man. Where's the remote? Oh, that not ideal. None from four. How? How? Ah, oh, dirty dog. Damn. Well, it's a pretty stormy day, which is awesome because the light's still really low and I reckon there's a good possibility of getting another bite. Can't believe I've gone none from four. Hopefully I get the next four. <laughs> that log would have the biggest cod in the river on it. It is just mentally good. That is all time. That's the sort of log you'd cast for 20 years and then one day an absolute behemoth would come off of it.
Whoa, almost fell out of the boat. I think that is pretty much, I could keep going, but I think it is pretty much surface time done. It's about lunch time. So I think what I might do is pull up somewhere, have a bit of a break, and then uh, get ready for the Arvo session. Just need to get one to stick. top for the trip oh he's a tagged one too that's cool Whew, that was awesome check him out that is awesome daytime surface cut super cool first one for the trip he's tagged and the number is 142508. It's probably yeah, 55, 60 centimetres. Awesome. Alright. You ready, buddy? He's ready. Yeah! I figure if I cast into enough good spots with the tremor, a big one's just going to annihilate it again, so I'm not stressed at all, just going through the motions. It's an absolutely beautiful evening on the Murray.
do it. Eat it. Raining. <clears throat> Been building for a while. Rain. Probably bite after it stops. Won't be unhappy if they bite before it stops. Gotta get lucky. So it is. Gotta go past the right snag at the right time. Find the right fish. Come on, man, I've worked hard. Cards, eh? Just a one shot. One's got to slip up. Little guy. Had to get a bite eventually. Will he come back? Nope. Well, that is it for today. It's been an absolutely massive day. I think I've cast for 12 or 13 hours. It's nice and cloudy, but um, just that one small bite and the three bites this morning. I thought it was due for a big Arvo bite later on, but didn't happen. Anyway, it is pretty good. We've got the fire going. It's a beautiful still night on the river. I'm gonna have some dinner and then just basically get into the swag because I am knackered. Big drive yesterday, big day today, and then um, a few more days coming up. So, see what happens tomorrow. Well, it is raining and it's been raining for quite some time. They weren't really predicting this much rain, but anyway, that's the joys of being at the mercy of the elements. The old tremor's been going. <laughs> I'll be making coffee, that's how wet it is. Anyway, it's just about to get light. And I got up, I'm doing it, making coffee, and uh, I'm gonna go throw some lures around in the rain.
see if you can't get a bite in the rain. I bet you as soon as the rain stops and it gets warm, I'll get my big bite, but I ain't sitting around till then. If I can get the boat off. Oh, it's a bit stuck. So heavy with all the rain, making everything wet. All right, we're in. It is really wet. Now I lined myself up, came all the way back up last night, well, a little way back up. Got a really nice set of logs for the first bit of light, so see if that makes any difference to getting a big bite. It'll just happen where it'll happen. It'll be like at 10.30 in the morning, rain will stop. I'll do this random log and there'll be a whopper on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. man, did that hammer that. Oh. That was awesome. Whew. First snag in the rain. Oh. Oh. oh, how cool was that? You probably can't see much at all, but he's a really nice fish. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. First snag in the rain. Man. Oh. Absolutely woofed it. How cool was that? Man. Get a load of this first snag of the morning got up in the rain it hasn't stopped raining but that is an absolute cracker off the top yeah Big boy. Off he goes. Whew. Funny when they want it, they want it. I went through all of this last night, right on a prime time, I would have said. Beautiful evening. And then this morning, it's raining and not very nice. And he comes out and eats it. They are a strange creature, the old cud. Man, it is wet. The rain's just getting heavier.
Had a little one swirl on it, I think. I think it was a little one. It might come back. It's funny, I've had a couple boil on it. Over the last couple of days. Just about there. Does that not get eaten? Oh, 100% be one in there. It has not stopped raining all morning. It has just been consistent. No, there's one on that. Oh, <laughs> little one. I was expecting a giant. Just knew there was going to be something in there, though. Oh, dirty dog. Why didn't that stick? Damn, such a nice looking bit. That's two bites in not that long a time. Just knew there was one in there. Come back. Damn. It is hammer and everything is soaked. But the fish seem to be biting. I'd probably rather this than uh, bright sunshine. It has been absolutely hammering all morning. Ridiculous. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. It is just pouring down. Uh, that is just awesome. Way more rain than they were predicting. It is just pouring it. <laughs> it's getting heavier. Just relentless. 
can't believe how wet it is. Come on, big buffer. It just seems to be getting heavier and heavier. It has just not stopped even a little bit since I got up this morning. Mental. like a shower or two or monsoonal trough maybe been a long time between drinks and that did scare me a little bit <sighs> awesome house well this is what we like to call an all-time snag that is just an absolute ripper there would be a giant on that absolute giant best snag for ages Beautiful time on the river, beautiful sunset, to end what has been a rather hectic day, very large, um, rained so much, unbelievable, so anyway, one bite, first snag, there you go, first snag of the day, been casting for about 13 hours since and have had that other buff and a couple of small little buffs. Um, so lots of casting I'm going to fish till last light see if anything happens and then go and camp on the sandbar up there and get to do all of this amazing timber again in the morning so that's the plan <laughs> so cool, so cool when they follow it out a long way and then just smash it. Super stoked. Yeah, yeah. Alright. You ready, dude? He's gone. Well, we got our spot to swag. Got a little bit of a fire going. Everything is super wet. Anyway, another day on the river down 
night number three got three nights to go so let's see what the next few days brings well good morning everybody bit of a different morning this morning to yesterday nice not to be raining kookaburras are still calling so I don't really know what that means but anyway we have lined up on the all-time uh, run of timber which we got our fish out of last night so just waiting for it it's just like just about to get light but as soon as I can see the snags to cast at I'm going so Beautiful morning on the mighty Murray. They are a funny creature. Line myself up for the hell run of timber first thing in the morning, like fish that change of light period through so many good logs, just one after the other, but didn't get a bite. We will press on, just gonna have a bite to eat and then uh, yeah, just keep on casting. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Must have heard me. Oh. <laughs> Eat it again. Definitely due for a bite. Just pity it wasn't a giant but stuck. Oh dirty dog didn't even didn't feel any weight at all. Straight onto it too. Ah, felt like I was gonna get a bite. Damn it. Will he come back? It was right in the honey hole. Well, it's almost two o'clock in the afternoon and I'm rolling the dice. I'm just keeping the big top water on. I figure if a really good one's gonna eat it, it's just gonna eat it. Um, doesn't matter what time of the day. So anyway, cruising down, we have got a fair bit of river to cover. It's nice and overcast, which is also a bit of an incentive to keep the top water on. Let's hope we can just get one big bopper bite, but I'd be pretty happy with anything. It is a beautiful part of the world.
All right, we are fourth Arvo session about to start. Oh, is starting. Three, quarter to four, I think, thereabouts. So from here on in, should be good. I just like one big bite. It's kind of thunderstorming at the moment, which could be good. Just like it, what it was first afternoon. Never give up, just gotta keep on casting. Something will happen eventually. When it all comes together. It is a ripper of an afternoon. Long, long time Ugh, between bites. Damn. Keep on putting it in the right spot. May not even get a bite this afternoon, but I do everything I can to try and make it happen. Well, that is it for another day. So much casting for nothing, but that's just, that's cod fishing. So we will get up and do it all again tomorrow. Here we are again. Morning number Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Morning number four. I uh, didn't land a fish yesterday. So it's always hard because it gets quite draining and you lose confidence. But today is a new day and you could go out and catch two whoppers within 10 minutes. That's just how cod fishing is, so getting up, getting organized, make coffee. Um, each evening I retire my leader, um, change my hooks if they need to be changed, just to make sure everything is in my favor when a big one bops it. Could be first snag of the day, could be last, might not happen, and it might be the best day you've ever had in your life. That's just unpredictability of cod fishing. Life's pretty easy on the river. Um, the bite's been tough, but that's just cods being cods. Uh, just coming out of what I would say is prime surface time. 
It's about 10 o'clock in the morning, but I'm just cruising down, picking all the shadows. Um, yeah, I reckon there's still every possibility one might come out and crunch it, and it's just a nice way to pass the time cruising down the river. All right, we are Arvo number Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Arvo number five. It is quarter past four. Shadows are starting on the uh, some of the banks, so it's time to start casting. Biggest one you've ever caught, just like that. Dushka. Never give up. As soon as you give up, you won't catch one. Prime time fish. Fishing well, gotta get a bite. It's up to the fish gods. And casting and casting and casting and casting. Just eat it. Current charging over that snag. They'd be in there though. They would be in there. Well, good morning everybody. Another morning on the river. It's been a very slow couple of days. Have not had a big buff for more than two days. But that's cod fishing. We will press on. Um, we've got Jimmy from Ballista jumping in this morning, so it's the last morning this morning, I'm gonna do a drift with Jimmy, and then he's going to very kindly drop me back at my car. Um, so it's been a big, big mission, um, long days, tough fishing, but that's cod fishing, I've enjoyed the drift. It's always a very special um, way to fish, to be able to do a point to point um, drift, so. Got a really nice fish, got some other fish. So all in all, it's been a very nice trip. Never give up, might get a big one this morning.
What was that? <laughs> so it was just like the cast out in the middle just to see if there's one on the sand. <laughs> just checking. That looks cool, like I've done some of them and it looks like awesome to go with like I reckon, you know, obviously I'm more thinking about my hunger list, but uh, I reckon that would be unreal. Yeah. Oh little one. <laughs> What's with the little ones? They must boof behind it. Yeah. You don't feel much. Nah. Or a bit late to the party, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Get back inside. <laughs> keep up the, the people like keep up. The, oh yeah, Jimmy. Oh, it came off. <laughs> It was always going to be one on that log. Oh, oh Jimmy. Is that a good one? I don't know. Looked nice. Yeah. I reckon it would have been 70 odd, 70, 80. I saw its tail. Yeah, that thing. He's not coming back. He's not coming He's not. back. It was. I just never had that sweet weight on it. Would have been a metery easy, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Giant. Oh, hmm. I was trying to. Big dog in there, man. Oh, no. Big dog in there. <laughs> No, I knew this week that I'd have, I knew I'd get one, which I did, but I knew I'd have a big fish opportunity, and that was the first afternoon about five snags in. I had my big dog bite. How did that, it's like right in there, and it didn't even paddle, it's just hooked up on the, that's sad. <laughs> The annoying thing for me about cod is that you might have one cast in one, in like a very unlikely circumstance that you'll catch your biggest fish you'll ever catch and then it'll never ever happen again. Yeah. That's the most annoying thing about cod. Yeah. Yeah. One log you might cast a hundred times over X amount of years, you'll chuck in there one time, might be middle of the day and a giant will explode on it and it will never ever happen again, but it might happen. So you gotta keep going because it might happen. <laughs> 10, you reckon? <laughs> All right, well, short and sweet, Jimmy. We missed four bites. Yeah, we had our So <laughs> that's surface fishing for you. Been an epic trip down the river once again. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you all next time.